The sight before you is one that is dreamt of in fairy tales and storybooks. The long cobbled pathways, massive lush green gardens, the lofty gopuras of temples and not to mention the palace itself standing dignified and spectacular in the heart of Mysuru. It's hard not to feel an overwhelming sense of admiration, isn't it? To your right, you can see the large gopura or tower of a temple. This is the Shweta Varaha Swami Temple. It is one among many exclusive temple buildings within this compound. The temple is dedicated to Varaha, the Bor Avatar of Lord Vishnu. You can see that the gopura of the temple is superbly constructed with white stucco idols lining up to the top. The construction of this temple was done in the Hoysala style of architecture. There is an inscription in the temple records which states that it was a gift from King Chikkadeva Raja Vodayar. In the Navaranga and on the walls of the temple, you can see mural paintings depicting scenes from the Ramayana and Bhagavata. On the southeastern wall, there is another mural which represents the coronation of Rama or the Rama Pattabhisheka. Once you have checked out the temple, let us make our way towards the palace building. The three-storied stone building is constructed in fine grey granite with deep pink marble domes. You can see that the facade of the palace has several large arches and two smaller ones flanking the central arch, which is supported by tall pillars. Above the central arch, there is a sculpture of Gajalakshmi, the goddess of wealth, prosperity, good luck and abundance, along with her elephants. The Maharajas of Mysuru were devotees of goddess Chamundi, which is why you will see that the palace faces Chamundi Hills, a prominent landmark that can't be missed. The entrance to the palace is through the left side. Make your way there 